Hi everyone, Carmel here. I am at Disney California Adventure Park uh, where we are at kind of I guess a preview for the uh, California Adventure Food and Wine Festival that officially starts tomorrow, February 28th. Uh, but they have kind of soft open for today, so I was able to come in and uh, I'm going to try a few foods. Uh, so the food and wine goes from February 28th officially until April 21st. So see that there. It's the usual guide. Uh, the tasting passport is really cool if you're not familiar because it has a breakdown of all the foods that are available at all the different foods. So that's really handy. So you can uh, not waste time waiting in line and can just pick out your food ahead of time. And you are able to uh, basically purchase your food or exchange your tabs if you have a sip and saver uh, uh, tasting card. Uh, you can basically go to one register, order all your stuff from all the different locations, and then you'll get your receipt, and then you can go to each location and pick up your food. So that's kind of nice so you're not wasting a lot of time waiting in two lines. Instead, you're just the one register and then however many uh, places that you're picking up food from. So. The Passport is a really handy book to have, um, highly recommend it. Uh, and then I did go ahead and purchase the uh, Sip and Saver uh, Pass. So this is what it looks like, it comes with eight tabs, I've already used three of them. I've already used three uh, because I have some food here that I'll be showing you in a second. Um, and if you're a pass holder, you get the eight tastings for $51. And if you uh, are a pass holder, you, they're also giving you this really cool uh, AP Magic uh, magnet. <laughs> Sorry, losing my words there. Uh, a magnet. So it's a really cool magnet and a new AP magnet for pass holders. And if you don't have a pass, the uh, Sip and Saver uh, pass is still um, still pretty reasonable price. It's $56. So $51 if you have a pass, uh, $56 if you do not. And it's eight tabs, and you can uh, basically try foods at any of the locations that are listed on the little card that it comes with. So it's a uh, good variety at the different locations of the different booths. So I did venture and go ahead and get that. So in regards to what foods I actually am going to be trying, I will refer to the passport so I've refreshed my memory on the um, what specifically things are called. So this here, you can kind of see the rose petal. I don't want to spill it on you, but uh, that's the uh, strawberry rose lemonade. It's strawberry, rose, pure amber honey, and fresh lemon juice, and it's non-alcoholic. And this actually, I did not use one of my tabs for because it was $6, and a lot of the items are like $8, so it uh, didn't make monetary sense really to waste a tab on it, so I just paid the six dollars for the lemonade so I've already been sipping it it's good so it's really good it's not super sweet like some um, strawberry lemonades can be and there's just like a slight hint of the floral of the rose in it so I really like it quite a bit uh, so that one is really tasty and then the other item I got, which that one's available at the uh, Golden Dreams um, stand. The other item I got was the brunch fried chicken and waffle sandwich, which is this one right here. So, it's kind of different looking. It's described uh, as being with mimosa inspired uh, uh, slaw and OJ bubbles. So it's chicken and waffle on a waffle it almost looks like an ego and then um, a coleslaw and OJ bubbles so it's these little guys here so I'm going to try a bite I don't know what I'm gonna think I'm a little confused by the bubble part so we'll try it we'll see but the chicken waffle anyway, let's give it a try
that's good. Um, the chicken is a little crispy on the edges, which is nice. Um, I don't think what I'm tasting. It all combines really nice, the orange OJ bubbles that they mentioned. It's not very thick, so it dissolved pretty quickly as I took the bite, so it just added like a slight citrus kind of taste to it. So that, um, yeah, I actually like quite a bit. I wasn't sure, it's not like sweet or salty, it's, um, but it has a lot of flavor to it. It's really flavorful, it's really good. So that was that. So I'm actually liking that purchase, we'll see. Um, and then, uh, what else did I get? I got, oh, over at Garlic Kiss, I got the black garlic soy braised pork belly banh mi, which is uh, this guy right here. And it's described as being on a mini French roll with banh mi mayonnaise, garnished with pickled carrots and daikon, um, sliced jalapeno, and cilantro spray. So, here's the jalapeno. So I'm going to remove that just because I don't do really well with a really spicy, so I'm going to take that out. Um, but I'm going to try the rest as is, so let's see. A lot of banh mi so I don't really have anything to compare it to but it's kind of salty um, I can definitely taste the pickled aspect of the of the carrots but it's good it's nice and tasty this is what it looks like inside after it's taken a bite so cilantro yummy I like it and then the last item I got which is this one right here is a carbonara garlic mac and cheese with new skis uh, bacon with uh, so it's described as being with white cheddar cheese sauce topped with Nooski's bacon, parmesan, and red pepper panko crumbs. So, I'm try a bite of that. this too. Um, the crumbs add a nice texture. The bacon, the bite that I got was a little chewy, but it looks like it, but it's really tasty. It kind of has an applewood sort of taste to it, and it all combines really well in cool textures and tastes, so I like that too. So there's lots of other items that you can get. I didn't count how many options were available, but there's lots of options that you can try and you can get. There's vegetarian options, there's uh, gluten-free options, uh, kid-friendly, plant-based options. So this is just what I happened to try for this um, tasting. There's, um, we'll be back uh, probably again tomorrow and then maybe Saturday. We'll see what our schedules are like, but uh, we'll be back a few more times and we'll try different things. On For those who want to do videos, I'm sure we'll just post on social. So if you're interested, follow along at Parks and Cons uh, on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram. And, but yeah, I really enjoyed all the stuff that I tried for this um, sitting, so we'll see what else we try in the future. Um, so, if you like these videos, um, subscribe and like. Um, turn on the notification so that you get notified because we don't uh, put videos up at a set schedule. It just kind of depends on when we come across some cool stuff. So, if you uh, turn on your notifications, you'll see when we get to see this cool stuff. I did experience the um, Magic Happens Parade already. They did a preview um, it was at one o'clock today and that was that was interesting it was a cool parade so if you're interested in that that's already uploaded on our YouTube channel so um, it's right there <laughs> you can take a look if you want to see the full thing um, but anyways like the video if you like these things um, subscribe and thanks for watching and again this um, 
Food and Wine Festival goes until April 21st. So we'll be back lots and follow us along on social to see what else we try. Thanks so much for watching.